Hey YouTube, this is Amy's Pro, and how the hell have you been? So for this video, we're going to do something a bit different than we usually do. We're actually going to do a game review. Well, kind of. We're going to talk about a game which I've been playing <coughs> through the Android emulator known as Bluestacks. And the game is called uh, Alto's Adventure. Now what the hell is this, you may ask? Well... Alto's Adventure is one of those what we'll call Twitch style games. You know, the games where you need to re your reflexes to be sharp, otherwise you're going to either you're basically gonna get thwarted by an obstacle of some kind, right? <clears throat> the idea for this game is you play Alto and he is literally on skis and he's skiing through different uh, areas trying to catch llamas and yes that's actually an objective that happens in the game well is an endless runner and we've all played those and I know what you're going to say endless runners are a dime a dozen and I've got a dollar the good news is this is a free game the thing of it is though and this is what's really cool most endless runners at least that I've seen, like Jetpack uh, Joyride, they, generally speaking, don't have a day-to-night transition because of their setting. This game does, and for those of you who are fans of, say, the game A Wide Don't Know Journey, the art style reminds you very much so of that game. Now, it does have a task-based system. So, in that respect, is it one of those games that you're going to be playing a lot? Yeah, because you want to try and do all the objectives that you can. They're going to be hard because one of the flaws, one of the few flaws I found in this game is trying to figure out exactly when to jump on ramps because I should tell you that um, in this game it's not exactly one straight line. There's a lot of different jumps you have to make. Some are on ramps, some are off of what are called buntings. Those are the little, um, they're like clotheslines with the little um, flags that hang on them and you can rip them down. You actually need to for, a, uh, for an achievement <clears throat> or for a task. But at the same time, it's really, really, really fun. There's a couple different power-ups that you can use in the game to help you on your way, and you're going to need every single one of them. Believe me when I tell you that. Because if you don't, you're not getting very far. Or you're not helping your, uh, your coin counter. The main enemy of the game is the Elder. Well, outside of the rocks that will get in your way and the, and the pitfalls. The Elder is an enemy that you will find after a certain point down the mountain. What happens is he chases after you and if he catches you very simply he knocks you on your butt and your run is over. You can, um, you are allowed to continue a set number of times on a run depending on how far you go. Uh, and you can do it two ways. You can watch it. You can watch a video, which takes about 30 seconds, and then you will continue on your way. Or you can pay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can you can pay coins, and it costs about I think 1,500 coins. But you're gonna need. You're gonna want to save those because. Um, you're going to want to save those for your upgrades in the workshop, which you can go to and upgrade your abilities. And there are abilities. One's called the Wingman. One's called Hover Feather. Hover, hover, bleh. hover Feather works like this. Basically, you pick up this item and it's a blue uh, thing. And what happens is you will literally float, hence the term hover, above the ground. <clears throat> And you can basically backflip to your heart's content, which you which you actually need to, uh, because it's 
That's that's one of the few flaws I found in the game. Your only real trick that you're allowed to really do in the game is a backflip. Yeah. Now I guess it's an Android game, but still, you don't you think you would have wanted something a little more, with a little more variety? Maybe be able to do a front flip. I don't know. Anyway, um, I do want to talk about one issue that I've noticed when you do a front flip or a back flip, rather. It almost seems like it affects your trajectory and actually lowers you to the ground. Like if you're trying to clear a um, a chasm, but you do a backflip, you actually it actually seems like it brings you lower to the ground and you can't make the jump. And some jumps seem... I don't want to say they're impossible because it's all timing based, but they do seem a little bit on the unfair side. Um, but other than that, very it is a very 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 good game and the music isn't half bad either um i think there's only literally like one track to it but it is so literally this is what happens the music is so peaceful that i will sometimes catch myself listening to that and i'll lose track of what i'm supposed to do when i hit a rock you either hit a rock or if it's a night um if it's a night time you could run into a campfire Oh, I should mention this. You can bounce off of rocks. That's perfectly fine. You can do that and you won't end your run. But, you just might want to be careful anyway. The game is for free on the Google Play Store and I do suggest strongly that you pick up the game. It is one of those endless runners that is actually really good for a de-stressor even if you might get stressed out trying to do the achievements. Anyway, go check the game out, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Later, friends.